Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, trying something new here today. Back to the future of the game. Alright, let's go to a new game. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications? Marty's and new goals. Sure. Flux capacitor, flux, fluxing. <laughs> Telltale games. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Doc, you Please crazy note bastard. that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Einstein looks well. A little you got bit that thing hooked up to the. More well groomed car. than. In the watch movies. this. Yeah, okay. Got it. He's a shaggy bastard. Not me! The car! The car! Now this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious if shit. My calculations are correct. <laughs> when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> you actually swore in the video game. That's awesome. Watch this, watch this. Run, Marty, run! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what I tell you disintegrated you? Einstein! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! Leave it one to minute him, into the future, to be exact! And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. What are you talking about? Uh, you build a time machine out of a DeLorean. You put your dog in a time machine. Let's go, DeLorean. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? <laughs> oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, well, what happened, Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Uh, Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you get there. Proceed, Marty's. There we go. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's 
mass equals i times z and e equals the square root of z times c squared and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of n carry the nine then um let's try this isn't the way it happened because it's not the way it happened yeah, in the movie something's way off here Maybe it was 2012, December 31st. <laughs> uh oh. Great Scott! Doc, what is it? They screwed I've up the timeline. A mistake. Doc! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Crap. Ah! Darko. Marty? Is Weird everything science. okay? I love that movie. Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past and Doc was there. So that's not supposed to happen to the third one. Well you're safe and sound. The third now. movie. Back in good old nineteen eighty six. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Back to the future.